and one if by land, two if by sea, all the while juggling three? When caught on camera, odd and outrageous continues. From traditions to innovations, the triathlon, a test of endurance involving swimming, biking, running, and for a crazy few, juggling. I mean, if you're sitting there worrying about drops, you'll never get far. April 21st, 2012, Perdido Key, Florida. Juggling Joe Salter sets out to be the first person to complete a triathlon while juggling. The swimming and juggling takes a lot out of you, physically. Growing up as the youngest of four boys, Joe pays close attention to his dad, Mickey, a professional entertainer. So I taught Joe when he was young, he'd take different. a little block, a foam block, and stick on his head when he was three and balance it. As Joe grows up, he plays sports and drops juggling for a time, eventually picking it up again as a young adult. I was always using juggling in weird ways to help my coordination. Eventually I just got into running too and uh, juggling at the same time and then I heard about combining them and uh, the rest is history. Joe becomes what you call a juggler. Juggling is juggling and jogging combined. And if you can juggle and run and not be afraid of what people think, then I think it's healthy for you. In 2009, Joe joggles two marathons, finishing each in an impressive three and a half hours. But afterwards, he looks to do something different and takes joggling to the next level. He comes up with the idea of competing in a triathlon while juggling, swimming, biking, and running while keeping the balls in motion throughout the entire race. His wife Cheryl isn't surprised by his quest. He's always been that type of person to go for it, and nothing was going to stand in his way. He asks longtime pal Royce Wagner to document his adventure. I knew that it was uh, something important to him and something that had never been done, so I thought it would be cool to be a part of it. I was just trying to get the best shots I could. While on the bike, Joe juggles two balls instead of the standard three, allowing one hand to steer. Swimming while juggling, or swuggling, is a feat within the feat that Joe takes credit for innovating. It exhausts you, and uh, especially being in salt water and waves hitting you, hitting you in the face, knocking you over. Uh, you, you feel like you're in a washing machine out there in the, the Gulf. There's thousands of jugglers, but to be able to come up with swimming and juggling at the same time is what I think is uh, amazing. I'm proud of him for that. After 10 months of training, Joe juggles through the quarter mile swim, 16.2 mile bike ride, and four mile run, finishing the Mullet Man Triathlon in one hour, 57 minutes, ahead of two thirds of the competitors, none of whom were juggling. But for Joe, it's not about his race time, it's about the time he's having during the race. I'm doing stuff off my head for the crowd, just cheering people up if I go by. They want that out of you. They don't want the mm, stiff-faced guy going by taking it too seriously. Coming up, 